the Shima Classic Turf is next. This is a one and a half miler. Group one. At the top we've got House Hyden for Dan Hughes. That's a big winner from last season. Coming back for another go. Insignia Island for David Robertson. Memphis Potential Vinnie Gerard Mountain Rescue Jim Murray. National Guard Obi Wan Picasso Leon Van Rensburg Reaper Craig Beckwith Seabird for Martin Leon Spider Man Joshua Sutherland Trapanga Ocean Darren Thompson Classic Mode Alex Cherry Dewdrop Matt Cooper Monolith Craig Allen and Windy City Padre Hogan. So what a few returners again in this one. And away they go. Closest to us was Dewdrop, who's a little bit slow to go. And we'll probably take the opportunity to cut into the inside rather than be stuck wide on the track. But it's Picasso and Spider Man who are disputing the lead at the moment. That's an interesting mix. House Hyden is third. Then comes National Guard and Mountain Rescue. Dewdrop has made up for that slow start, as they so often do in these races. I think I said it yesterday. The horses that go out slowly almost always end up in the lead within a furlong or two. Uh, it's National Guard in second, then Spider Man is third, Picasso is fourth, then House Hyden and uh, Mountain Rescue. Trapanga Ocean's after that one with Windy City, Monolith, and Insignia Island. In towards the back of the field, Classic Mode is just the back marker at this point, but Dewdrop has now settled down into the lead and is a good two and a half lengths clear of Spider Man in second. Mountain Rescue and Picasso are next in the National Guard and House Hyden and Seabird, Windy City is after that one. Then Insignia Island, Memphis Portal, Mon Monolith is next in Classic Mode and Reaper are the back two as they come down past the seven furlong point and Dewdrop is the clear leader. From Spider Man in second, a lot of greys in this for them. And the first one of those is National Guard. Line a flag for the Americans in this one. And it's Dewdrop in the lead. From Mountain Rescue in second. Trapanga Ocean is third. Then National Guard and Picasso. House Hyden is going well. Then comes Spider Man Seabird. He's in mid division alongside Reaper in Windy City. Insignia Island is the one widest on the track. That's a grey as well. So too is the two shades of green for Memphis Portal, who's just about sharing last place with Craig Allen's monolith in the green and the yellow hoops but they're making their way towards the home turn now then with three and a half furlongs to go and Dewdrop is being scrubbed along to keep his place in the lead Picasso is second National Guard is third Jim Murray's Mountain Rescue is going to try and look for a dream run up the inside he'll be lucky to get it and he's already up in the irons the grey House Hyden has now burst through to take the lead and it's House Hyden I think was went up for it for the diamond last year ended up winning the Irish one it's House Hyden in the lead from Picasso in second then comes Insignia Island Reaper and Trapanga Ocean into the final furlong they go and House Hyden leads by three parts of a length to Picasso in second and House Hyden isn't stopping as they race down towards the final half furlong it's still House Hyden in front Picasso's not getting any closer and House Hyden if anything is pulling away and as they race towards the line House Hyden takes it Picasso is second in second and third Reaper fall then Trapanga Ocean and Windy City and Monolith and National Guard and I think the handicapper Seabird might have been the last one to finish it's a win for House Hyden, quick fire double for Dan Hughes, who really does accelerate in these Dubai races. House Hyden takes it. With Picasso second for Leon Van Rensburg, Insignia Island for David Robson third, Reaper Craig Beckwith fourth, and Memphis Potential for Vinnie Gerard was fifth.